We're here at Cobb Wine Bar and Kitchen. There's Pamela. Pamela, say hi. Say hi. But you know, we really need to say here's our guest. Hey. Our guest bartendress. Pouring herself a drink. So yeah. pouring herself a drink. Yeah. So um, Kate Kendall, executive director of NCLR. So what are you doing behind the bar tonight? Um, well, Pamela, who is the proprietor of Cobb, is donating 10% of all the proceeds tonight to NCLR in Florida, California. And she emailed me and said, would you like to be a guest bartender? And like everybody else, all good dykes, I've always wanted to be a bartender. So now, have you ever bartended? No. But you know, there can't be that much to it, right? What do you want to drink? Tell me about your life. How's your life uh, life? How's and you don't have to mix cocktails. How happy are you? You don't have to, you don't have to mix cocktails. Because that might be dangerous. No, I don't have to mix anything. It's just wine. Excellent. White bread. That's all I need to know. So we've had a monumental week. A lot of a lot of work that your organization has has. Your wait. Hold on. Your wait. There we go. There. Cheers to that. All right. So NCLR has obviously been very central to the case that was won this yep. week. We had Prop 8 yep. overturned, but it's not over. So what's next? What's next? Well, you know, overturning Prop 8 is huge. I mean, it's, this is the biggest thing that's happened in a long, long time for our community. Ted Olson, David Boyce were the lead counsel in that case. Their legal team did a spectacular job. What Walker did in his ruling was nothing short of a tour de force. Everybody should read it. I don't care if you're a lawyer, read it. So, yeah, it's probably going to go up on appeal. We have to wonder what the Supreme Court might do with it, but you know what? Right now, it's just about celebrating. Being happy, celebrating, savoring the victory. Savor our rights for as long as we have them this time. Absolutely. And we all know how it ends. This is just another... Well, because the side of goodness always wins. Side of goodness always, wins. Always. Now, I, I've been hearing about calls uh, from the conservative right to impeach Walker. I mean, what kind of nonsense is that? I don't understand. Well, this, is the, this is the way the right works. They call anybody an activist judge who is in a way that they don't agree with, and they act as if the judicial branch of government is some communist plot instead of created by the founding fathers, as John Stewart on his show pointed out. Pointed out. You know, hello, the Republican branch of government. Judges exist to review the law and to make sure that people don't step out of line and that the legislators don't step out of line. Go back to your civics class, guys. This is what judges do. Now, Kagan being appointed to the court, that could be a good thing. Now, we're still looking at a 5-4 split on the Supreme Court. Because I'm assuming this goes to SCOTUS, right? This is going to get to the Supreme Court. Well, you know, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I think everyone assumes that's going to be the case, but you can't be absolutely certain about that. Because you need to know, and everybody needs to know, that there, you know, the Supreme Court may decide not to take it because it's just about California, it's just about Prop 8. Um, you know, there's a, some twists and turns that people should watch out for here. But it'll probably be the Supreme Court, that's true, five years. And in that time, we can make huge changes. We have to get those five votes. Five years, five votes, we can do it. All right, well, I'm going to let you get busy because you're, we're here to raise money for you tonight. And there's, look at this, there's lots of people in the room, like everybody's ready to drink, so um, get to work. All right, you got it, Kathy. Thanks, baby. Yeah. <laughs>